welcome to this series of short videos showing you tips and information for submitting TMAs for TM111. In this video, I'm going to talk about font choices and layout options in Word. The default or normal font for Word 2016 is Calibri. The default font in older versions of Word was Arial. I find both Calibri and Arial easy to read fonts on screen. And like most tutors these days, I do my marking directly on the screen rather than on a printed copy. So please use the default font in your TMAs and not any unusual or novelty fonts. Regarding font size, I find a font size of 12 points is ideal, but that is an individual preference, so do check with your tutor to find out what they prefer. And now, just a very quick word about font colours. I'll be using blue for adding comments to your TMAs. And I italicise this so that students who have issues seeing particular colours can distinguish the comments I have added. Please only use black for your answers unless you have a personal need to use other colours. If so, do let me or your own tutor know. And let's now look at line spacing. If we select some text in this document, it's possible to see what word sets as the default line spacing and paragraph gaps. The default for line spacing for a new document in Word is ideal for marking on screen. I would prefer your TMAs to have line spacing no wider than the default. You can check the spacing here in the home ribbon. There's a drop down that will give you a range of sizes. So with this selection of text, you'll see that whatever I do in the line spacing options will only affect that text. If I want to adjust the line spacing of the whole document, I can press Ctrl or Command A and then make the adjustments. At the moment, the line spacing of this section is set to the default of 1.08 points. A space of one point looks a bit cramped to me. Spacing of one and a half, two and three points are available. These settings can be useful if you plan to print out and review your document before you submit it. This will allow you to write notes in the spaces between the lines. But please do not use these wide spacings in your final TMA submission. I can insert comments anywhere within your document without the need for you to double space lines. Double spacing just adds to the amount of scrolling needed to navigate the TMA. When you get your TMA back from me, it will have comments inserted in various places and that's a very good reason for keeping your own original copy of your document. There are another couple of options here to do with the gap that appears before and after paragraphs. I like to see one blank line of space between paragraphs. If your copy of Word keeps adding extra spaces to the lines between paragraphs, you can adjust the settings under this icon. Word gives you options for using an indented first line. In fact, there are opportunities to invoke all sorts of special formatting, but please stick to the basic layout. And as mentioned elsewhere, do not use any auto formatting as it makes adding comments more difficult from a marker's point of view. I hope you found this video useful. Please post any comments you have in the student cluster forum. Thanks for watching.